On March 22, 1960, the US granted a patent for a device that would change tech forever, the laser. Charles Townes and Arthur Shorlow patented their Maser and Maser communication system, what we now call the laser light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation, but the story begins much earlier. In 1953, Townes built the Maser based on Einstein's 1905 paper on the photoelectric effect, which was based on Max Planck's 1900 discovery that light comes in energy quanta. In 1957, Townes and Shorlow joined forces at Bell Labs. They filed a patent for the laser in 1958, even before anyone had built one. Later that year, they published their groundbreaking paper, Infrared and Optical Maser. Then in 1960, physicist Theodore Mayman at Hughes Research Labs built the first working laser using a ruby crystal. Towns won the 1964 Nobel Prize in Physics, but not without controversy. In 1957, a grad student named Gordon Gould says he shared his laser idea with Towns. Gould filed his own patent in 1959, but it was rejected. He fought for nearly 20 years and finally got his patent in 1977 and royalties in 1988. From quantum theory to corporate labs to patent wars, the laser's history is a beam of brilliance and drama.